Hi, Roy from Observer here. In this video, I want to show you how simple it is to build production grade ingestion jobs from Kafka to Snowflake. Absolver um, offers a modern data integration done right. It only takes a few minutes to set up and start loading data into Snowflake. Once running, there is almost nothing for you to do. Using our exact sync technology, Absolver is able to guarantee exactly once delivery with strong ordering. This is greatly simplifies incremental loading of data into Snowflake and makes your DBT models simple to write and manage. Who doesn't want that? Absolver also automatically manages changing schemas by evolving the target tables, properly converting the column types, and allowing you to set data quality expectations to stop bad data from entering Snowflake. Finally, you get real-time observability of both your data and the ingestion jobs right out of the box. All of these statistics and metadata are also fully accessible through our APIs in Python SDK if you wanted to integrate it with your existing monitoring tools. So let's take a look at how do we do that. First thing first, we want to click on the Kafka to Snowflake ingestion wizard. This is a very simple, low code, no code experience that allows you to get started very quickly. So I already have a Kafka connection set up. If I really wanted to, I can just create a new one right here by passing some properties, <clears throat> but I already have it connected. So there's really no need to do anything else. Absolver automatically detects the topics that are available for you in the Kafka stream. We're just gonna look at the user info one. We also automatically detect the type. If it's a JSON or CSV or, or other format, we can automatically detect that. So you don't really have to worry about that. You get a sample of the data right here. You can click and you can see exactly what's going on. Now that we're happy with this data, we're gonna click next. And now we also see that I already have a Snowflake connection, very similar to my source. I can just create another one if I wanted to, but one's already created for me, so I don't need to worry about it. We're gonna select the schema. I'm gonna pick my uh, schema here, and then we're gonna pick a table. I'm just gonna use one that I know, all right? And then we're off. Now, this is where the fun stuff starts to happen, right? So we connected the source, we created the target, now we're gonna pick when do we wanna start reading the, file, the data from. So we can start all the way from the beginning or we can start from now. And this is because this is a stream, it depends on how much data is persisted in Kafka. If there's multiple days, we will start from the first available um, uh, event. But for this example, we just start from now. We're also able to um, tell you how frequently we wanna update the target. In this case, I wanna update in near real time. So I'm gonna go down to a minute. Now, if there's not a lot of data coming through. You can change this to five minutes or 10 or 15. But in this case, I'm just going to go with a minute, something I, I want to get fresh data. Uh, we also notice that we're introducing uh, an Absolver event time column into the target table. This is a very powerful column that tells you when the data gets loaded into Snowflake. So this is not the event time when the event was generated, but this is when it actually got loaded into Snowflake. So if you're building incremental models or if you're trying to manage late arriving events, you can actually use this particular column to do your incremental loading. And so this is really powerful and it gives you a lot of flexibility if you wanted to, to make your DBT models simpler. We're also gonna enable uh, deduplication. So this is allow you to deduplicate, remove duplicates from the data before it lands into Snowflake, right? Simplifying your DBT models, simplifying the extra work that your engineers have to do downstream. We're gonna choose the user ID, it's a primary key. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna have a, a duplication window of one hour. Now, we're gonna be able to pick, oh, this is the schema that we have, and we're gonna pick all of them. I think, well, actually, let's let's not pick the password. We don't really need to do that. Uh, and then for credit card, we're just gonna hash that value. Click next. And now we can see that the wizard that we ran through actually generated a piece of code that we are now gonna execute. Now you can always take this code, you can check it into GitHub if you wanted to have some version control, or if you wanna have some, some testing or review over it. So this experience makes it a little bit more modern, more easier for you to plug into your existing CI CD pipelines, um, or we simply just click, we wanna run, and then this will generate our job for us. That's it. And now we have a job running. Very cool. Now the job is running and we're able to see the job and 
we're going to go in here and we're going to see that it's starting to run. It's going to take us a couple of minutes um, to run this job and it's going to slowly, slowly start showing us some, some metrics. Now we're at zero. We'll give it a few minutes and then we'll be able to see that. After a few minutes, we're able to see that a lot of rows were discovered and then a whole bunch, 10,000 plus, were actually ran to the target. And this is a continuous job that's just running and more rows will get added as they're discovered. So switching over to Snowflake, we can actually run a query against it and we can see that all of our data is now available in Snowflake. Credit card has been hashed. There's no password field and the Upsolver uh, event time has been added to our table. And with that said, thank you very much. I appreciate the time and have a good day.